In this video, we're going to install MetaTrader 5 on the macOS operating system. So first, we need to download it. We search for it using Google. The first website that comes up here is the official MetaTrader 5 site. We click on it. On the homepage of the MetaTrader website, you can see here that MetaTrader is available for various operating systems and it has automatically detected that we are using the macOS operating system. The other buttons you see here are for MetaTrader on Windows, Linux and for iPhones that use the iOS operating system, which can be downloaded from the App Store. Android phones can download it from Google Play and Huawei phones which are under sanctions and don't have access to Google Play can download MetaTrader from the App Gallery. Here we have a web terminal option. The web terminal, regardless of your specific operating system, is truly cross-platform. That means whatever operating system you currently have installed, as long as you possess a modern web browser on it, you can readily access MetaTrader directly through that browser and conveniently conduct your trading activities there. However, for optimal performance and full functionality, we specifically require the dedicated macOS version. We click on it. It asks us for an address. We select our desired address and save it. It starts downloading. We wait for the download to finish. The download is complete and we have MetaTrader as a zipped file. So let's double click it to extract it from the zip. We wait. If you pay attention, it's different from the extensions we've always seen before files with the .app extension, we drag and drop those into the applications folder and after that we can use them. But there are some files with the .pkg extension. We have to install files with the .pkg extension. So we double click on it to start the installation process. On the first page we click continue and continue again for the agreement and accept it. Here we need to specify the location and it already has one selected. Here it tells us that 420 megabytes of free space are required. We definitely don't change the location and let it install in its default directory. When we click this, it asks us for a password. We enter the password and click install. Note that this password is your operating system password. It's the password you use to log into your operating system. The software itself doesn't have a password. For installation, it's done. We click the close button. It asks if you want to delete the software package you just installed, which is in package file format. Now that you've installed it, do you want to keep it? We want to keep it. So in case we need it next time, we click keep. Our MetaTrader installation is complete and now we need to run it. We come here and click on MetaTrader 5. We wait for it to launch. MetaTrader has been installed and by default it has created a demo account for us that we can use. We click OK and wait. If you hear this sound or see this area at the bottom with a red button or a red forbidden icon, it means your internet connection has an issue and the software itself is fine. If you can't connect with your current internet, you'll need to either change your internet connection or use a VPN.